Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturx. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Thank you for not piling on me in the comments in the last episode. I missed some things. It's less that I missed them, and more that I picked up on them, but maybe didn't vocally put them together for you guys. Um, I didn't really give as many thoughts as maybe as I, I would normally. I think I was just overwhelmed. I was in such a place, emotionally speaking. I think I just I just forgot that that's something I normally do. So I'm going to take a few minutes now just to kind of go over some of the things that we missed in the last episode and give my thoughts and feelings and kind of give you guys a catch up as to how I'm feeling with the game at the moment. The first thing I noticed in the edit um, was, first of all, Eskol. Eskol's name was in the escape pod. It was in that first thing that we read in the episode. The first thing that we read in the entire episode. I should have known that was Eskol's ship. I just, I did, no matter how good I am with know my names, that one escaped me. Um, it was so obvious in hindsight that actually that was Eskol's ship. The first wall I go and look at in the vessel is all received transmissions coming to the ship and that is so special because i don't know when they arrived but if the universe is dying if the nomai have not you know acknowledged that the universe is dying that's recent if their ancestors ancestors knew the story of eskol's vessel missing then we have two options either the Nomai are incredibly short-lived. Or, this vessel came here such an unfathomably long time ago. I mean, it must have done, because this was before Harthians had even evolved into Harthians. You know, this happened such an ungodly amount of time ago. And I didn't even acknowledge that. I just, I just presumed. There are other Nomai clans still roaming, still looking for hope, still finding a home. And that is amazing. It's sad that none of our Nomai survived. Our Nomai were all wiped out. But there's still hope for the Nomai. The other little note detail that I missed is regarding Nomai was when we found that Bramble Seed most of the bodies were hugging. I'm glad I didn't notice that live. Um, I, I even glanced down at one of them. I look down and I see two of them from like the, like the bottom view. And I just, I think I was in such emotional shock of seeing all the bodies. I didn't realize in their last moments they were holding on to each other. They knew it was hopeless. But instead of fighting, instead of kicking and screaming and going down swinging, there was a moment where they accepted it. And I think that's kind of where I am with the game now. I've accepted I have a choice. And this is just my interpretation. Please don't correct me. Please don't give any kind of insinuations in the comments as to if I'm right or not. Because this is the kind of time in the game where things like that could really potentially spoil it. Even if you're just being subtle. Some of you think you're being subtle. You're probably not as subtle as you think you are. But. In my eyes I have choices. Obviously when I pull the plug. When I remove that warp core from the Ash Twin Project. The Ash Twin Project no longer functions. So the next time we die, it's for good. And I have a choice for what to do with that time. I have a choice for what to do with that warp core. The obvious one, and the one the game seemingly wants me to do, and I know the game doesn't necessarily want me to do things, it's designed in an open way, but the way I'm reading it is the game wants me to try get that warp core to the vessel. I don't know what we'd be able to do with it. I don't know if it would do it any good. I don't know if it's a false hope. Am I willing to give up that last half of a run 
just for that chance we can escape, that chance that we can leave it all behind and we can see what else is out there. Do I pursue that in the name of knowledge? Or do I take the core, find a quiet place, and watch the light fade one more time? I have a few options. I've got a few ideas of where I would take that core with me. I would take it with me. I wouldn't just pull the plug and leave it and blase wander off. To me, that core represents things. It represents hope. It represents a finality to things. And there's two good places I can think of taking it. Wouldn't do anything from a gameplay point of view. In fact, if I took it to any of these two places other than the vessel, some of you would be screaming at me in the comments. Some of you would... I wouldn't say hate me for it, but some of you would just wish, just... God damn it, why didn't he take it to the vessel? And that's something I'm going to have to think over for the next few weeks. I'm going to have to really give a long, hard think what my choice is going to be. And unfortunately for you guys, it's my choice. And fortunately for you guys, it is my choice. And I can't wait to share that choice with you. For now, I need to figure out what we're going to do in this episode. Part of me feels like perhaps there is more to look at around the vessel. And I don't know if there is, if there's going to be necessarily more to read, but I want to go have another look. So this could be a discovery episode or this could be kind of a creepy smell the pines i don't know we'll find out what i have discovered slash being told right is that in here don't call it the name of my grave why would you do that why would you do that that is so cruel that is so unbelievably cruel well, let's, let, let's have a look i need to go to the tower of quantum knowledge I'm going to save that for probably like next episode. The sixth location. We know the sixth location. Surely. That's the eye. Or is it? I'm confused. I'm going to have to go have another look at that in a moment. Um, what else am I looking for? The Ashwin Project and the Statue Workshop. Have I really not read that yet? Oh, the Ashwin Project. Yep, we went there. Um, I'm going to read this all later, or I might do a bit of a recap. For now, I'm just... What was I looking for? I was looking for something really specific then. What was I... Why did I... Oh, that's why I came in here. The vessel. So, what I can do... And there is more to explore here. Um, is I can apparently pin these. Apparently. Um, let me just have a quick look through this bit, at least. The vessel's warp core is long dead. The Nomai tried to call for help, but the vessel's outgoing message system broke during the crash. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. The remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of the original signal the Nomai encountered from the eye of the universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear, so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. There is more to explore here. So, if I come here... And mark that, right? Then, I should be able to just fly to it. I do need to go see Feldspar at some point because, my god, was that a Feldspar maneuver. You know what I'm talking about. I did a Feldspar. I did a Feldspar. Um, and people were not annoyed. I think some people were frustrated that I didn't just have a bit more patience. And I understand that. However, my thought process, and you can actually see the thought process, if you watch it back, there's a point where I'm at 1.8 kilometers. Then it ticks over to 1.7. And over that time, you can see my kind of the, the cogs going. And what was going through my head was, I could make this if I just don't move. The problem I would then have is I would have no time to explore. So I made the decision to you know have a bit of a giggle with it go for it see see what happens see what the worst is that could happen and thankfully we made it 
we made it. It counts, right? I don't know if I could fell spar my way through it twice. Oh my god, there's two. I feel like the red one will be the shortcut. Even though it's saying it's further away. Because I, I don't know what's going to happen if I go in the shorter one. Because that's the same. I don't know really what I'm saying. It's... I hear you. I didn't know there was one in here. Oh my god, I hated that. So, I can rotate the ship. Apparently they can't hear the rotation of the ship. They can, however, hear the thruster. So the second we go through here, hands off the thruster. Uh, I cannot tell you how much I hate this. Uh, oh, boy. And I do at some point want to go see what the red is, but for now, that's not my priority. I want to get back to the vessel. I'm going to wait till we hit 1.7 and then I'm going to attempt to Felspar this. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait till 1.5. We got here quite quick today. I have the time. I have the time. Let's be patient. Please keep moving. Please, for the love of all things holy, just keep moving. There's going to be another one in front of me as well. I know there is. I noticed in the edit there's another one out here, like, between me and the vessel. That's sure. Mm, I doubting myself. Actually, I got a little boost of speed, and no one's any of the wiser. Hey, cool. I am, however, going to crash into this bramble. We did it like a fell spa the first time. We did it like a pro the second time. Oh. Here we are. One thing that's going through my head. They are very careful with their choice of words regarding the vessel, right? The vessel is mortally wounded. The vessel is dying. And I want to know how literal that is. I, I need to know, like, what else is going on here. I think I might, or in my mind anyway, there should be some kind of way, surely where the escape pods would be. Oh, there's got to be some other way in here. That doesn't look like... There's any actual door, though. How did they... get in? I need to see if the bramble has pierced it anywhere to see if there's... more ways in. Or is maybe the way in... All the doors are sealed. So there's no way in from that side. Sorry, Bramble. Right, we're... I'm a pro pilot. I'm kind of thinking maybe there's a way in from like the top or the bottom, but for now I was just kind of checking what else is around the other side. What is that? Ain't that pretty? Don't crash into the ancient derelict ship, Sturks. This is worth everything. And nothing at the same time. This place is just incredible. Right, so. There is more to explore here, but I don't know if it's stuff that I can explore without potentially ending the game. Now, to me, these little nibs should have doors. Right? They should have doors, because there were once escape pods here. 
But I'm being denied. I'm not allowed. Is that really the only way in then? Ugh. Unless. Hear me out. What are the odds that one of these binds could maybe be hollow? I know that's a bit of a stretch. But Feldspar found a hollow bind. I don't know how common that is here. I don't know if there are more than one hollow bind. I'm not seeing anything. Right, we'll go we'll go back in where we went last time. We'll have another double check. See if there's any way I can faff about with things in here and get any of the other doors to open. I don't know if I can. I don't know if this is a you know a false hope. And honestly, I don't really mind if it is. I don't mind. I'm just doing this for me more than anything. I want a second look. I've I've been haunted in the best way possible by this place. Like, I have become awestruck with the game. And you know me, I love this game. Um but more so than normal. I have pretty much abandoned the other series for the time being because I need more. I need to know more of what's happening here. I just do, right? I need to know everything I can about this goddamn place. Why is everything shut? I mean, I'm guessing it's because it's like an emergency system that's closed everything off, maybe. Just trying to think if there's like other ways in. So, I moved this one way and it didn't do anything, right? And to be honest, I don't think I expected to do anything because that warp core is dead. I guess I just don't know if it's... So there is some auxiliary power here. Wait, can I do the coordinates? How many faces are there? How many faces are there? There's three faces. Ah, oh, I can't remember. Shapes, that's what this is. Right? Maybe? That looks like I can do those shapes. Ish. I'm not actually sure now that I've said it, but th that wants me to draw a pattern on it, I think. For the sake of simplicity though, I am just gonna go around and do everything, right? Yes! I can draw! Ah! Oh my God, okay, so. Yeah, this is what it wants me to do. It wants me to bring the warp core here. So if there's some kind of auxiliary power, right? Does putting it this way do anything? Does this open any doors? Apparently not. Wishful thinking, I guess. We'll go back down into like the, the lecture theatre. I don't know, I can't remember if there are any doors down there or not, but I just, I want to look while we're here. But I've got a horrible feeling some of this is only going to be available to me once, if I make this choice to come back here. I've read all this. I've seen all this. Is there really nothing else I can see here?
This place is haunting. I, I both love and hate this place. I need to get further into it. I do. I really, really do. But, oh. Do I really? See, there's more. There's more doors. I can't bloody get in it. And all these, the. Escape pod doors. Surely they're only accessible from like. I can guarantee. Let's go have another look at that other escape pod again. Because I've just. I think I was looking at the wrong bit for the door. And I don't want to be an idiot and miss it. And then afterwards. Uh, We'll probably go see if I can have a bit more of an explore around the Dark Bramble, because I feel like we're going to have the time. Now, have they covered up this door as well? I wish I had like a welding tool or something. You know, so I could just like, like plasma torch my way through things. Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze my way through. Nah. Not looking likely, unfortunately. So, now, I need to find my way out of here. I just, look at this place. We'll be back, Vessel. We'll be back one day. Maybe. Now, is this one going to take me all the way out of the Bramble? Yes. Helpful. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to go do this. While that's doing that, I'm just going to go remove the mark. So, get rid of that. I'm not happy about this. I'm really not happy about this. But we're going to it. We're going to it. I need to know what is glowing red at the heart of the bramble. And it's going to scar me. I know it is. But... In for the penny. Right, try not to crash into the angle of fish. I'm just going to keep floating for a little while. No, you don't. No, you don't. I'm going to crash into it. I'm going to crash into it. That wasn't fair. <laughs> I was trying so hard to maneuver the ship, but I couldn't do it without actually thrusting one way or the other. Don't laugh. Stop laughing. Stop. 
I'm I'm a big strong dude. I can do this. I'm gonna get to whatever is red. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna be beaten by some dark bramble, some place that I have been so afraid of for all this time. It is not gonna beat me. It's not. I also think I know how to get into the sun station. And, and there were a few people who suggested I did it in the wrong order. Um, to which I say, I'm doing it in my own order. Um, I think I know how to get into it now. There is one of the towers, and in hindsight I feel so stupid, one of the towers is literally shaped like a five-year-old drew the sun. It's like a pointy star. And in my head, I, I think I thought that was like, I don't know. I don't know which planet I thought it was, but I'm pretty sure it's actually just the sun. The problem with that is, it's the place with the cactuses. And I'm not very good with my jetpack yet. So I'm going to have to figure out how the hell I'm going to get in there. Oh, you big, ugly. I didn't know you were in here. See ya later, alligator. I will be glad when I never have to come back here again. See, that's the thing. If I were to get the warp core, there is every chance, right? There is every chance that I wouldn't even make it. I would die on the route to the vessel and then that would be it. Imagine that. Imagine Sturks' great last moment being devoured by an anglerfish. Imagine how embarrassing that would be. Right, we've got one, two, three this time. That means there shouldn't be one between me and this red. There is a fourth one out here somewhere though. But luckily there's quite a lot of lights. So if I just keep moving towards the red, we're gonna be absolutely fine. That's how this works. Just keep. That's not a dark bramble seed. They're eggs. Their eggs. Their eggs. But what's glowing? What's glowing? Oh, it's because there's loads of little anglerfish in there. Mind me, anglerfish, I'm just touching all your eggs. I'm gonna go to this one. I'm gonna put that all behind me. All of this time. It was just anglerfish eggs. Uh, but why? Let's just see how deep we can go. Or is this going to take me...
There's no distress beacon this way. Should I be concerned? Okay. One of the lights went out. So there's something between... Alright, there's lots of vines between me and it. What is this way? There's, there's nothing on either channel. There's no Feldspar, there's nothing Quantum. So what's this way? And I swear to God, if you're just another Anglerfish, I'm gonna scream. Which is why I'm purposely not driving straight towards it. Ah, you are not just an Anglerfish. Where are we going? Is this just a loop? I will keep looping. I have been looping for many an episode now. I will do this over and over again if I need to. Maybe. Where are we going? Where am I going? Uh, if this one's the anglerfish, I'm gonna not be very happy with myself. Was in fact an anglerfish. Can I just keep going this way? Is there any? Wait, um, wait, wait, right, right. This has got absolutely nothing to do with what we were just doing. This has got nothing to do with what we were just doing. It kind of does. Loads of prickly things. Right, loads of prickly things. I was just thinking about the cactuses. Right, I can't fly over the cactuses. What if I don't need to fly? What if it's just a case of time? What if all of my problems are time? It's, it's. All this time, all this time, I have been, the whole point of the game, the entire point of the game, is that time is part of the puzzle. Time is an obstacle. Time is something to overcome. Time is something to work with, not work against. We did it at the Ember Twin. We did it at the Ash Twin. I literally said... That it was like one massive sand timer. It's been staring me right in the face. It's been staring me right in the face. I've probably mistimed it now. This game! How can I forget? There are places in the game that are locked. There are places in the game you can't reach. There are places in this game you cannot reach. Unless you time it just right. And you know exactly what I'm saying. You know, don't you? You've known this entire time. I have known this entire time, but I am so thick. I am so impossibly dense that I couldn't 
even start to comprehend it. I, I forgot completely that time is part of the puzzle. You beauty. <laughs> I love this game. How can I? How? How did you let me forget? I mean, we have definitely mistimed it. I know we have. I know we have. But one of these rooms. Was it the star one? Was it this one I'm thinking of? It's not this one I'm thinking of. It must be the star one. Because there's this room here, right? And we can never get to it. I can never find a way to it. I could never find a way in. And that is probably because the only way in is through a little door right here. And in the little door is a bunch of cactuses. And the cactuses I can't fly over, right? There is no way in hell I can fly over this. But if I time this just right, I can walk over them. I can just walk through it on a bed of sand. I can just walk right through it. And that means you know exactly where we have to go next time. You know exactly what I need to do. I have to go there. We've got this far. If I can just get up there, I can get to the station. I can finally go and see it. The thing that they didn't want to build. The thing that they had to. In the name of science. In the name of preservation. In the name of curiosity. <sighs> I feel so stupid. I feel I am I I'm stupid. I love this so 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 much. Even if it makes me feel like a bitch of an idiot at times. Sun station, here we come. <laughs>